has a lot of strength, the young freshman, and she gets the nod in the circle for South Florida. Here we go, second game of the day in the first off. Only two losses to SEC teams. This one is powered deep to right, but a leaping catch by Lauren Beavis in right field. Another big swinger for Oklahoma State. Tim shoves one to second, and that's brought in by Wilkes. A, hit the batter, or B, not break and stay over the heart of the plate. But she throws very fearlessly and will work. Bouncing ball to second. Wilkes to tribal piece. Will retire the side. How about the freshman? A 1-2-3 inning against this booming Oklahoma State order. Right-hand pitcher who has just been a phenomenal addition to this Cowgirls roster. Tampa native Olivia Elliott. Spent a year at UCF, then transferred back home. That when she throws an off-speed well can be difficult to hit. Up the third baseline, 5-3 on the out. Edwards to Godwin. In seven years as head coach, he has led them to four trips to the Women's College World Series. Garcia Soto puts down a bunt. No shot. Into the perfect spot, and Kathy Garcia Soto's aboard. And here is Marissa Tribal Piece. All conference selection a year ago. And the first pitch hitter, that one looked like it hurt. She'll have a hit by pitch. It comes in. She's going to start her swing, and in doing so, it's going to expose the inside of her back elbow. Usually, three of six when she's been in the starting lineup. Goes opposite way here into right. Garcia Soto tags, but will hold it second, and there's two away. These pinch roll positions have been pretty successful. In her two at-bats, has gotten a hit in one of them on the white of the plate on the outer half. Washington in the first of two. There's the 2-2. Two -two. And Beavis chases it for strike three. Aycock's got her first K. She was a big pickup out of the transfer portal. You may know her also as Caroline Hudson from Liberty. She was recently married to Matthew. Line drive into left, and that's past Snyder and all the way to the wall. Wong will go into second, standing up. Yeah, unfortunately, I think Snyder not seeing how quickly this ball is falling. Wong gets on top of this, is going to put a lot of topspin on this line drive. Snyder thinking that she can get underneath it, unfortunately does not, comes up with the diving. First pitch, pops it up for Alex Wilkes, and the second baseman squeezes it. So a good bounce back for Apostolakos, but now she's... <laughs> Cowgirls looking for their first run of the day, trying to take advantage on a leadoff double. And Tennessee native foul. Apostolakos spins a 2-1. This is clocked to center field. Elliott back to the track. It's out of her glove. Wong has the wave at third. She will come in to score. And Oklahoma State takes the lead in Tampa. And she'll take the 2-1 on a deep drive into left field. And it's past Snyder. Oklahoma State extends its lead with their third double of the inning. This pitch from Apostolakos is deep inside on the hands of Sokolowski, and she's going to do a phenomenal job of opening up her body, opening up her barrel. Stepping away from the team, but had a huge impact at Nice. Poulard sends one skyward into right, Consolazio. Circles around to it. She's got it. That'll retire the side. Two runs on three hits, all doubles in Oklahoma. Off hitting batters. I think they'll need to be aggressive early. Dania Brooks, a long bouncer, back up the middle, but not in time. First pitch to Humplick sends it deep to center field and a leaping catch by Pular. Threat of, sco of scoring a run. Third start and four appearances, but her first at bat is a line out to third. Bulls go out quietly in the second, down one, two, three. We'll see you in the third. Calgary. And Edwards sends one skyward to right and into the Tampa Knights. 
Tech is not going to take a doubt on this one. Another pitch inside to her, this curveball. And look at that swing. She's going to put the lift into it, and it's going to carry well and truly over those high 190 fences out. In Oklahoma State in this inning already a solo shot. And another power stroke to left center. It is good. The second long ball of the inning. Oklahoma State pouring it on again puts this ball into the deepest part of this field look out our camera crew out there and holding with the power of this barrel another rise ball that just doesn't get out of the zone and instead Godwin is going to put absolutely out in deep deep center field watch out Julio that's a good Groundhog Day reference thank you thank you I'm a huge punks Tony Phil man that's still nobody out in this inning this 2-2 is blasted deep into right field and a nice catch by Alana Consolazio. Deep getting that air for the catch. Consolazio, an incredible read, an incredible jump. And Rob. 0-2. And Wark chops this out to second. Long throw for Wilkes, but she's got it. There's two away. A lot of different looks across. Oklahoma State stepping foot in Gainesville. Flair shot into right. Consolazio, no magic this time, just out of her glove. Utah's going to be coming into this league. Arizona, Arizona State. All very solid programs. And yeah, you're losing Oklahoma and Texas to the SEC. Pac-12 teams also coming into that league. Here's the payoff. And we'll come back for part two. And strike two there. Throw down to first is not in time. South Florida is arguing. Bag outs when she gets them. She's going to argue that Davis, on her way up to the bag, is going to step off of it. It's safe to say South Florida is going to be pretty comfy in this ballpark. It will be a little more road heavy at the back end of the season, but South Florida, a lot of chance to have that advantage. And Maddie Snyder walks on the Mizzou, transfers the board, turns it over with nobody out. The 1 1. Is on a line into right field, but easily playable for Tim. And there's one away. A double play here. The payoff. Garcia Soto ropes one to short. They will throw to first, and it is a double play to retire the side. Stop position. That's it. And Bloodworth arcs one deep beyond the outfield. Waving for it. Kathy Garcia Soto secures the first out of the inning. Yeah, it's something that sometimes it's something as small as a little mechanical change, especially for someone like Lexi Kopko, where her career ERA sitting at six even, a three and six record over 45 appearances. It's also pinch ran a bit in her time at USF. And there's Pilar, sends a 1-1 one, one into foul ground on the run and can't bring it in. Snyder giving chase, goes into the fencing. And kind of terrain and so you're gonna see Snyder tracking this ball down knows that the fence is there So when she's coming up diving, she's actually trying to work to keep her body away from the fence not go straight into it. And Pollard strikes out will throw down to first to complete the K <laughs> Bouncing ball out to second 4-3 on the out will retire the side. So Alexi Kopko comes in relief, gets the final two outs and a strikeout. As they look to fill those power vacuums. Wilkes turns on one foul. Way. Beavis on the first pitch, a roller to second. And we will see you in. Payoff pitch is on a long bounce to second. And Wilkes turns it for the second out of the inning. Entrance by Lexi Kopko, obviously Apostolakos and starts the game. Some really strong bats of OSU. 2-2. Two, two. And Wong turns it foul off the handle. Hard work. Lexi Kopko has been put in the work. She's got two strikeouts. Joe, the throw from Humplick completes the K. Produced a hit yet. That was only one hit tonight. Dania Brooks rolls it to third. That's a good snag by Edwards. Here's the 1-2. And Humplick tags this to second. And this time it's 4-3 on the up. Two up, two down for the Bulls. He's saying like he don't have it anymore. Deep roller to short. This might be close. But Kathy Garcia's arm gets it there. So that would be 12 once you add Oklahoma and Texas. Now pitch is fouled off. Also for the top five. Of the sport as we know it. Anderson's going to pinch run here, by the way. 
and not to answer your question with a question with a question here, but Ray's. paying people more. <laughs> Runner takes off the throw, gets away from Garcia Soto. She'll go for third. The throw down there, not in time either. And Moving Anderson. and grooving along the base pass. She's on the doorstep. And Unfortunately. Well, Anderson got into second, and then on the tag, it got away, so she took off. So I believe the argument. Lasky sends one, flaring into left field, but Snyder's got it, and that'll retire the side. Snyder to lead off. I think that's enough out of you, actually. <laughs> that's the first out of the inning. <laughs> Where he will do matchups. We've seen Peyton Dixon with Sarja. Day Travis and Cameron Ellison on this. Let's take a look at that. Are they seeing? No, it didn't hit her. <laughs> Elliott rolls one through the left side for a base hit. So a one out single for the UCF transfer. What is only the second hit in this entire game? A little bit of storming last year, but expecting some better weather this season. Up the first baseline. And travel piece, with three unassisted. A little bit too much. Kilfoyle gets underneath this one deep to left field. It is gone. The second career home run for Lexi Kilfoyle. Kilfoyle, the ace for Oklahoma State, is in second. A step to the plate and change the whole momentum of this game. What did we just say? Pitchers can rake. How about it? Goes opposite way. And this one is thumped into left, and we will see you in the home seven. Lexi Kilfoyle goes yard. Across two games, went 0 for 7 with three strikeouts. Started both. Still gathered three RBIs. This is gathered left side of the infield, five. Alex Wilkes has pulled a couple of these foul balls really. And it was their pitcher, Lexi Kilfoyle, with the exclamation point on that. The bat of Lexi Kilfoyle. Wilkes works a walk with one out in the inner. Laycox first toss to her. High chopper, shallow in the infield. This will be close in time. Moves walls to second. I think that's pretty good. As Brooks bounces it back up the middle, and it is dropped by Davis. Walls around third will come in to score. So brings in an unearned run. Slow roll to the circle. Nice pick by Acock. And 1-3 will end the ball game. Oh. Runs, three doubles. Absolutely strong, powerful, offensive showing from the Cowgirls here in Florida after a 2-1 heartbreak. <laughs>